Long-Term Test Review, Suzuki Bailano. Third Report, Suzuki Bailano Super Mini is proving practical and punchy. Verdict. 4 Star. The Suzuki Bailano has won us over with its blend of usability and a relatively involving drive for a Super Mini, but it's blotted its copybook with a drop in efficiency. Plus, the more time I spend with it, the more niggles I'm finding. On the whole, though, it's still proving easy to live with. Mileage, 3725. Economy, 36.5 mpg. Apart from a couple of trips down the M4 to pick up and drop off my daughter at Heathrow, my Suzuki Bailano has recently spent most of its time around the outskirts of London and it certainly made me appreciate the blend of qualities that Suzuki has injected into the car. The Bailano was designed to offer more practicality than the firm's smaller Swift, delivering extra space while still keeping the package compact and ideal for town living. The 320-liter boot is spacious for a car in this class, too, and clearly defines the Bailano as Suzuki's more versatile Super Mini offering, next to the 211-liter Swift. So the brand has achieved its goal, but has also married this with an engaging driving experience, which bodes well, given the next Swift will use the same 1.0-liter turbo engine. As I said in my last report, the little three-cylinder unit is great, but that's not the whole story. The ride is comfortable and the steering sweet for such a small, cheap car, while the grip the chassis delivers gives a reassuring feeling. Plenty of urban driving has taken its toll on the fuel economy, however, with the Bailano averaging only 36.5 mpg over the last tank. It could be helped by a stop-slash-start system something that is missing from the 1.0 booster jet, but that's included on the 1.2 dual jet mild hybrid. It's an unusual omission, especially in a modern super mini that'll spend plenty of time around town. There are no parking sensors, either, although the standard fit 7-inch screen on our SC5 model gives a clear image from the reversing camera, which makes parking in confined spaces straightforward. Maybe too straightforward, as it's not all been positive for the Bailano of late, the car has unfortunately gained a battle scar. My gym car park is a dangerous combination of narrow spaces, but easy to maneuver into thanks to the rear view camera. After a recent workout, I returned to find a dent on the front passenger door, presumably from another car door being opened too aggressively. Now the clocks have gone back, the shorter winter days have also highlighted that only the central interior light comes on when you open the doors and not the two at the front. It's not a major issue, as they work manually and provide plenty of illumination, but it's a bit fiddly, and you just have to remember to switch them off. The touch-sensitive slider for the volume control on the infotainment system is also awkward to use, especially on the move, but at least there are steering wheel mounted controls to get around this. Suzuki Bailano, Second Report Suzuki Bailano Hatch has taught us not to judge a book by its cover. Mileage, 3608 Economy, 47.3 mpg Life with the Suzuki Bailano has been busy, and it's already proven itself to be a more practical super mini than its smaller Suzuki Swift sibling. But one thing that's gone relatively unnoticed is the engine. The downsized 1.0-liter three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine is a real highlight, and has reminded me that while the Bailano might look a bit bland in our car's 430 pounds ray blue metallic paint, you should never judge a book by its cover. The little triple produces 109 bhp, so it's on PAR with other compact hatchbacks when it comes to power, or even slightly ahead. However, whereas the likes of the naturally aspirated 1.2 in the Honda Jazz might struggle to uproot a sapling, it feels like the Bailano's brawnier engine could topple a tree. It's all relative, of course, but I've found that around town the Suzuki's 170nm of torque means you don't have to change gear quite as often as in some rivals. It makes for more relaxed progress, as the engine can easily pull taller gears in slow-moving city traffic without any nasty vibrations, offering good performance at low revs. 
Being able to access a lot of that performance while keeping the revs down has helped fuel economy, too. When I first got the car it was averaging just under 4.0 mpg, but now my calculations show it recorded 47.3 mpg on its last tank of fuel. My driving style and journeys haven't changed over that time, either, so while traffic might account for a little variation, the Suzuki's fuel sipping engine is delivering the goods. The Thrummy three-cylinder also makes the car fun to drive, as it's keen to be revved before revealing a little more of its character as it works nicely with the steering and chassis. But the Bailano has a few unusual traits I've noticed over the last few months. While there's enough grip to make you feel safe and secure through corners, on the motorway the car is affected by winds and gets buffeted around. It's slightly unnerving and probably down to the light curb weight. And while safety aids such as autonomous braking and adaptive cruise offer peace of mind, the collision warning alert is irritating. I've already mentioned how sensitive it is to the point where I prefer to switch it off rather than have it beeping at me aggressively. But it's also been a little inconsistent recently. The buzzer has gone off in stationary traffic, while it's not sounded when someone's pulled out on me. Everyone who has driven the Bailano has said how frustrating it is, like it's balanced on a hair trigger. I'll be keeping my eye on it to see if any more glitches appear. Suzuki Bailano, first report. Suzuki Bailano Super Mini joins our fleet, and its kit makes a big impression. Mileage, 1455. Economy, 52.3 mpg. The new Suzuki Bailano has made a big impact since debuting earlier this year, winning an Auto Express road test and accommodation in our 2016 New Car Awards. So when I found out the Japanese Super Mini was joining our fleet, I made a beeling to Gem Suzuki in Hendon, northwest London, where our new arrival was waiting. I received a warm welcome from sales consultant Simon Philipson and his team, and after a quick cup of coffee, the car was brought around the front. Here Simon gave me a guided tour of our 1.0 booster jet model in range topping SZ5 trim. This took rather longer than expected, because despite its modest £13,999 price, the Bailano comes with the sort of kit that would shame a premium brand executive saloon. Firstly, I was talked through the standard SAT NAV and touchscreen infotainment system. It's similar to the one in the Vitara we used to run, but Simon showed me some things to make it more user-friendly. This included allowing the navigation system to work when you are moving, so your passenger can be punching in the postcode without you having to pull over. Syncing my phone with the Bluetooth system was simple, but he also guided me through the Apple CarPlay function, a real bonus on a budget car. Plug in your iPhone and the familiar Apple interface appears on the 7-inch color screen. I look forward to trying out the added functionality. Another part of the Bailano's extensive standard safety kit is a collision alert system, which I've already found can be irritatingly sensitive, especially when around town. More high-tech safety additions include adaptive cruise control, a clever piece of kit that's virtually unheard of on a car of this size and price. Like the collision alert, you can alter the, the distance at which the system responds, this time by using the handily placed steering wheel rocker switch. Elsewhere, Simon pointed out the climate control, keyless entry, and 4.2-inch trip computer screen, plus the high-intensity discharge headlamps, 16-inch alloys, and the rear privacy glass outside. Under the bonnet is Suzuki's new turbocharged 1.0-liter three-cylinder booster jet petrol engine, which follows the current trend for downsizing. Yet even on my short trip across London from the dealer to my home, I was impressed by the little unit's punchy delivery and refinement. The Bailano also took bumps and potholes in its stride, while the light and accurate steering made easy work of the crowded city streets. The interior is surprisingly roomy, too, and while some of the plastics feel a little low rent, everything is robustly screwed together. Besides, at this price, it's splitting hairs to complain about cheap materials. So the early signs are good for the spacious, well-equipped and comfortable Bailano. 
I look forward to seeing how long its showroom shine endures. Key Specs On Fleet Sense, June 2016 Price New, £14,249 Engine, 1.0 liter 3 CYL, 109 bhp CO2 slash tax, 105 G slash KM slash pound 20. Options, metallic paint, 430 pounds. Insurance, group, 11 quote, 321 pounds. Mileage slash MPG, 3,725 slash 36.5 MPG. Any problems, none so far.